Hey everybody, it is nostalgia time once again. So, in this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Acer Travelmate 3000 OEM install. And if we can do this correctly, we are going to begin a mini-series, as I discussed in the last episode, about seeing what happens when you continually upgrade a manufacturer OEM install of another operating system. Like in this case it came with XP and then you upgraded to Vista. Just wanted to see like what programs will still work after the upgrade and stuff like that. So because we only received the individual recovery discs we cannot do them directly from outside of Windows. We have to boot into a boot CD in order to get them to work. So we'll launch Symantec Ghost and we are going to start it with all these options. Okay. And now we are going to insert the first disk. Alright, there we are. So we will load disk from image and we are going to switch to the Recovery CD1. Okay, we have an images option. I can already tell by the date of when this computer was manufactured. So it was manufactured in 2005. So this computer most likely is going to come with XP Service Pack 2. So we're going to go into the images folder. And then we scan for images, and here it is right here. The password is below, like on all Acer OEMs from this time. That is the hard drive we're going to install it on. And we want it partitioned like this. This is the final confirmation, and yes, we will begin the restore. and it looks like the clone was completed however we are not done here just yet because now we need to run the fix hard drive controller command yes that is the installation that we want to do we're going to update the mass storage drivers there and it says finished good luck all right, and now we will restart the system and we will boot into Windows XP for the first time. And I can already tell that this is Service Pack 2 because it does not mention the addition of Windows this is anymore. Because if this was RTM or Service Pack 1, like that HP OEM we took a look at, it would say Windows XP Home Edition if it'd be and then if it was professional, it would have that blue bar and it would say professional and so on and so forth. So we're booting into the out of box experience. Yeah, the audio is kind of choppy, but that's the way it seems to be acting on here. And it says, thank you for purchasing this computer from Acer featuring Windows XP. So we'll go ahead and hit next. All this stuff is correct. Changing these settings is optional, but 
Yes, that's. We are in the central time zone. This is the end user license agreement for XP Professional and Tablet Edition Media Center 2004. Interesting. So it looks like this must be a professional OEM. We're going to keep the computer name as it is for right now, so we'll just skip this step. And then next it will uh, try to connect to the internet. Oh, that's after we put in an administrator password, because again, this is professional. And because this is XP professional, it has additional options like, are you going to join this computer to a domain or something like that? But, and then who will use this computer? And that HP OEM, it defaulted to owner. It didn't give me an option like this. So we are ready, so we'll hit finish. And now we will boot into the desktop for the first time. And there's the Travelmate wallpaper that was in use on these computers around this time period. And very soon we will see the desktop. Here we are. Here we are at the desktop. And of course the time is not correct. It looks to be in It looks to be in standard time or something, but we can adjust it and change it to the correct time zone and time. Oh, it looks like it moved to PM. Yes, it is just after midnight at the time of filming. And there we go. Now the time is correct. So while we get VMware tools installed, let's take a look around the system and see what there is. So it comes with Adobe Reader 6.0 from 2003. So, and oh, it's suggesting the display. There we go. There we are. We're almost ready to restart. And then we have Norton Antivirus, which of course requires that CD that we don't have. This is NTI CD and DVD Maker Gold. Gold Edition, which is just like that other OEM we saw. Here's Cyberlink Power DVD. Again, that's Acer's custom version of that. And then if we look at all programs, let's take a look elsewhere around the system. So we just have the typical accessibility stuff and system restore. And then we have the Acer system, the Cyberlink DVD. Here's NTI Backup Now 3. Here's their DVD maker. This says Print Me. In fact, this is essentially just like that other Acer that we looked at, the 2600. This is very similar to that. And I can show you by going into the screensaver. And see, this is the exact same screensaver from that other from that other computer. That was an Acer Travelmate 2600, and this is the exact same model, nearly identical to that. So, so yeah, that is a look essentially at the Acer Travelmate 3000 laptop computer manufactured in 2005. And yes, we've seen that screensaver already, so we know what that looks like. So, in the next episode, we are going to begin a mini series on updating a manufacturer OEM copy of Windows and essentially taking it through a little sort of history. So like we'll start with XP and we'll go up to Vista and we'll we'll keep going from there. And maybe we'll take it all the way up to Windows 10. <laughs> well who knows. But until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.